Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is amazing. As for me, today's the first day without Lori being here and uh, well, first off, let's see how things are going. Okay, so Ivy decided to destroy our cage, which is pretty typical when we feed a big meal. That's okay, but Bruce called in sick today, so there's no Bruce, so it looks like I'm gonna be cleaning this up here in a little bit. The good news is, is Jessica is here, and she said she would help me out with all the other animals here at the Reptarium, here at BHB. So far, it seems like everything is okay. Beth, is everything okay here at BHB? No. No? Um. I, I've lost access to voicemail. Right now, I'm fed up with your bullshit excuses. So, what do you mean by lost access to voicemail? There's something with the system, because it's not, we don't have like a, vo a voice message machine. It's in the, you know, it's like, So we can't get any voice I messages. can't get any voicemails, so. Oh, that's, does this happen often? No, it's never happened before. I've never been able to call people back. Oh, that's great. So there's probably, I don't know, a hundred voicemails oh, by now from good. yesterday that I can't okay. listen to oh, or call back, so all right, well, sorry. Good. Well, keep up on that, all yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, apparently, uh, phone lines go down when Lori's not here. I, you know, it starts to make me wonder, like, does this stuff happen all the time when Lori's here and I just don't know about it? Or is all this stuff coming at me with Lori? I, I'm, I hope Lori's having a good time, but I might have to call her back if this keeps up. But on a good note, we had that banger clutch of clowns we cut the other day hatch out, and oh my gosh, cannot wait to show you guys. And here they are, and oh my goodness, there's some beautiful animals. This is just a really pretty clown ball python. It's got some really interesting patterns, really kind of heavily patterned. I just, I think that thing is absolutely wonderful. This happens to be a leopard clown. I mean, look at the reduction of pattern, and that leopard really does a lot of cool things to the pattern. Always has those dottings down the sides. Let's take a look at that little head right there that makes it kind of a clown animal. Again, I always talk about the fact that VPI actually called them clown ball pythons because they thought that it looked like they had clown makeup on their head. So that's absolutely beautiful. This happens to be a little pastel leopard clown ball python. Another beautiful animal. I mean, that thing is such a ripper. And then we start getting into some crazy stuff right here. Look at this animal right here. Wow, that thing is amazing. So this is actually a pastel banana leopard clown ball python and unbelievable that thing is stunning it's just so incredible but then there's this animal which is my favorite of all of them because of the reduction of pattern because of the head pattern everything like that this is actually a reduced pattern leopard banana clown ball python i mean wow look at the purple on that animal and that reduction of pattern that thing is incredible and again if you were to add spot notes to this you would call this a gotham and uh that thing is incredible so we definitely have to add some spot notes into these guys but these things are sick i tell you what they're amazing i was so stoked on the way this clutch hatched out so hey even though things are a little bit crazy here uh at least we have some pretty cool ball pythons to cheer me up whoa it's me you guys know that my mom's gone, so somebody has to be the authority here. God didn't give me these guns for no reason. Doing your job. Are you doing your job? Yeah. And yours. Good. I can smell them piss pants. Quinn? You didn't piss on that seat, boy, did you? No. No? Boy, all right. Besides that, let's get to the point. Are you doing your job? I believe I am. I mean, you're doing your job? Do it. You're doing your job? Well, sh I don't know why my mom complains so much. This sh is easy. What's going on? Got hail. Hail? It's hail blowing on. a flipping gal out there. Got some hail out there. Oh Look at that, God. kiddos. Oh my God, dude. Oh, you're gonna die. 7 Eleven's got the slurping machine on too high. This is what happens when they actually finally fix that McDonald's <laughs> milkshake machine, huh? It's actually a fake, fake thing, but hey, merch is out. Uh, you can get your salt and pepper, Diddy and Dixie mugs. You can get stickers. You can get shirts. You can get hoodies, stuff like that. Link will be in the description. So for a limited time, you guys can get this uh, this cool swag. I hope that you guys like it. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this one. And we will have one more drop before Christmas, a special Christmas drop. That's another probably six or eight weeks away for now. But for now, these guys limited. Go ahead, get you some. Link in the description. 
got a really quick unboxing. My buddy Jeff sent me some more snakes. As always, uh, to be honest with you, I think there's just like a couple snakes that are pretty cool. And then uh, then there's just some like headball pythons and stuff like that. So let's see what we got here in this first bag. And uh, yep, in the first bag we literally have a pastel ball python. But this is actually a heifer clown. So this is 100% heifer clown ball, pastel ball python. Let's go ahead and sex it real quick. And it is a female, so that's awesome. Female pastel heifer clowns are actually pretty valuable in the sense from uh, value as far as like having, because you can produce pastel clowns and all that other stuff. If it's a male, they typically don't really go very much. And a lot of times we end up, to be totally honest with you, selling them off as normal pastels. So that's good that we have a pastel heifer clown. Let's go ahead and tie this up and move on to bag number two. And bag number two, I like the way he bags because I don't have to get the clippers and all that other stuff. It's, ooh, this is, oh, this is so pretty, guys. I mean, I love this animal. These things are so cool. Again, you may look at this and think that it's an albino ball python, and it kind of is in a way, but it's actually a lavender albino ball python. So the interesting thing is that there's a little bit more high contrast with a lavender than a normal as a baby. And then right here down these alien heads, as they call them, you'll see a real big highlighting area where it's actually like fluorescent. That means it's a lavender albino, not compatible with a normal albino, but what happens is that as this grows at about a year of age or so all this white turns purple so that's why they call them lavender albinos and ironically enough I had been offered the first lavender albinos ever over in a place called Abomé Bonin in Africa and the guy said that it was a purple albino and I didn't believe him it was before the internet so I couldn't get pictures and he's like oh it's purple and I was like yeah right and he wanted more money for it turns out that VPI ended up buying those animals and it turned out to have lavender albinos and I felt like a big idiot because I passed up on them and uh, and they produce lavender albinos and in the meantime we've produced a bunch since and stuff like that lavenders are really really beautiful animals and really cool when you mix them into things like I tell you what one of my favorite double recessive mutations is a lavender albino tri-stripe ball python go ahead google that trust me that's a beautiful animal and then lastly we have one last bag right here here we go one last bag Ooh, what do we have here? We have a whole bunch of stuff. Now this is actually just all piebald stuff right here, but the majority of them are actually heads. So we've got pastel heads, we've got uh, some normal hat piebald ball pythons, but this is cool. There's one and two beautiful little pastel pies and this one is actually really wicked look at the pattern on that or i should say almost a lack of pattern because where is this pattern there's like nothing but just kind of blotches on it very interesting this would be more typical of a normal pastel pie ball ball python and this is a really beautiful animal right here so so again just a small shipment just a quick unboxing but i know you guys love to see snakes i love getting snakes again a bunch of beautiful animals these will get on the shelf we'll set them up for a few weeks get some meals into them and you'll see them on the bhb website back in the sloth exhibit well not quite the sloth exhibit still snake massage room in here but we did get news from the usda today saying that we can actually get the sloth whenever we want as soon as this room is set up and that all we have to do is not have it on exhibit so what we'll have to do is just kind of you know clear out this window right here so that people can't see inside and then they'll come and inspect and give us the thing so I have to get working on this because I would like in the next say two to two and a half weeks have this room completely done so I have to tear these enclosures out here get all this out here we're putting a drain in the floor and uh, by the way I just uh, tomorrow I have some friends coming out because realize this is a drop ceiling up right here and guess what's gonna happen if I have a tree right here is Drogo is gonna go through that ceiling right so we actually have to put a cage about a foot down but we want it to look really good so my friends are gonna come out they're gonna put a cage up here in the next week or so get the tree steward down there at Universal Rock is working with that. Rock out the rest of these walls, do a couple other little things, lots of things to do here. But if everything goes well in the next two weeks, this room hopefully will be completely done. We can drive down to Florida, take you guys on a little adventure, pick up Drogo, drive Drogo back. Have you ever thought about driving a sloth across the country? Well, you're about to find out how that works and then get him in here. Then we can get our permits and then eventually be able to open up the exhibit. And for those of you that are concerned, trust me, I've done a tremendous amount of research about this animal. I have not taken this lightly at all. We want Drogo to be absolutely healthy. So uh, this is an a whimsical buy. This has been something I've been working on for like two years. Visited a lot of places, talked to a lot of sloth that tour. So I think uh, Drogo is going to really love his new environment with all of the energy that we're going to put into it. We got a baby gargoyle today. That's like all you guys see me on now. <laughs> 
But uh, this is a little mosaic, which is a little different than anything else that we've uh, talked about before or hatched out. Uh, it's kind of like a mix between the blotched and the uh, striped uh, morphs, I guess you'd call it. It's not truly a morph though, morphotype maybe you could call it. Uh, but if you look at it, it's got a couple little blotches there that normally would be a straight stripe. I also like this one because it's uh, it's like black and white and the parents are black and white so it should stay pretty, pretty much like this color. Where's the sky? You don't see any floods. Oh, well, there's a mess. Interesting. Where's Bruce? Do you have babies? Brian's gonna wanna keep them. And I'm not dealing with that. You doing your job? You doing your job? How about you? Yep. You doing your job? <laughs> tell you one thing I'm sorry I've been whining uh, I think I need a little cheese with my wine here today about Lori not being here but one thing that always cheers me up is feeding my girl Bella Bella do you want some banana you don't want no banana no banana today <laughs> what you doing you silly monkey you sure you don't want no banana no banana nope Bella says no banana today which is fine. I think she just wants some love. That's okay. But the truth is, is spending any time with Bella is absolutely amazing. It brightens my day. And, and I'm not going to lie, you know. I mean, you guys know that I've been dealing with some anxiety. I've talked about it. And being uh, alone and not having Lori here is a little stressful for me. I'm not going to lie to you. But, uh, but spending time with animals like Bella, it just kind of brightens me up. It just kind of gets me into a better mood, better frame of mind. So I'm very fortunate that I have a great crew around me. And I also have amazing animals that make me feel better, even if if Bella doesn't want to be a banana monster today. I love you, little girl. You're the best in the world. This is a really cool little clutch of snakes that are all exactly the same, but so beautiful. These are just aneurythristic, or what they call black corn snakes. One of the first mutations of corn snakes that came back in the late 80s, early 90s. And literally, there's parts of South Florida where they were saying about one in four wild animals at that time were actually aneurythristic in the wild. That's where they popped up and were actually reproduced. Now, I'm not sure if there's a real population of aneurythristics in the wild or not. I have no idea. But nevertheless, simple mutation, just one gene, black corn, but so absolutely gorgeous. So like I always say, that you never know how important someone is until they're not around. And we're only on day one, so we have four more days of me kind of running the show. Thankfully, a lot of good people around me. I'm sure we'll get through it, and I hope that Lori's having a great time. By the way, she's visiting Drogo here in a couple days, so you guys are gonna get a little peek of Drogo and Lori first meeting the sloth, so that's gonna be pretty amazing. If you guys enjoyed this video, here's a playlist you can run through. I really hope that you'll enjoy it. Up here, you can do me a favor and subscribe to the podcast channel. On this side, subscribe to this vlog channel. Turn your post notifications on, and don't forget your merch. Please get that. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you tomorrow.